Even with the best planning, the global community can become dangerous. What can you do in a crisis while studying abroad? There are many kinds of crises, from natural disasters to accidents, civil unrest, riots, and military coups. Whether traveling with a faculty-led or independent study abroad program, there are ways you can prepare yourself for a potential crisis. If you are traveling on a faculty-led or USG program, make sure you are aware of the emergency plans from your program leader. If you are going on a program provider or independent study abroad program, make sure you have a personal emergency plan in place. Make sure to always communicate with your on-site staff and or faculty in each country responsible for supporting your safety abroad. One of the best defenses in crisis management is to be informed. Learn about the country, including visa requirements, local laws, customs, and medical care in the countries where you will be. Check for any travel alerts or travel warnings for your destination. It is required to enroll in the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program, or STEP, to receive important safety and security messages. Follow the instructions provided by your faculty leader or program provider. Keep the contact details for the nearest U.S. Embassy or consulate with you. Create an emergency kit. Your emergency kit should include your passports, cash in the local currency, a card with local translations of basic terms. Periodically, communicate with your faculty leader or program provider and GGC to let them know that you are safe. Keep a list of your emergency contacts handy and create a communication plan for reaching family and friends in the event of a crisis. Phone lines are usually affected during a crisis. Think about other ways to communicate. For example, update your social media status often and send messages as regularly as possible to let friends and family know how you are doing. Many of our U.S. embassies and consulates, along with the Bureau of Consular Affairs, use social media to provide information. Connect with us using Twitter and Facebook. Have an exit strategy. Know how you'll get out of harm's way without needing to rely on assistance. A crisis may prevent or delay emergency responders' ability to get to you, and there will be many people needing help. Follow instructions from local authorities about security and evacuation. Doing so can save your life. Monitor local radio, television, and other sources for updates. Situations can change quickly, limiting the time you have to get out. If you are staying in a hotel, talk to the staff to be sure you know the hotel's emergency plan for a variety of crisis events, fire, flood, electrical outage, storms, etc. Keep in touch with your tour operators, hotel staff, airline, and local officials for evacuation instructions. Contact the nearest U.S. Embassy or consulate if you need emergency help. Please keep in mind that this will not alert emergency responders. If you need an emergency medical attention or police assistance, contact the local authorities directly if you can. As terrorist attacks often take place without any warning, U.S. citizens are strongly encouraged to maintain a high level of vigilance and take appropriate proactive steps to increase their security awareness when traveling. We encourage U.S. citizens to read country-specific information pages, travel warnings, and travel alerts on travel.state.gov before planning a trip. In addition, Prior to departing the U.S., we urge travelers to enroll in the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program, or STEP, to receive security messages about terrorist threats or security incidents. Terrorist groups are using less sophisticated methods of attack to more effectively target crowds, including the use of edged weapons, pistols, and vehicles. Extremists are increasingly assaulting soft targets, such as high-profile public events like sporting contests, political rallies, demonstrations, holiday events, celebratory gatherings, and etc. Hotels, clubs, and restaurants, places of worship, schools, parks, shopping malls, and markets, tourism infrastructure, public transportation systems, and airports. 
The following recommendations may help you avoid becoming a target of opportunity. These precautions may provide some degree of protection. Identify potential safe areas such as police stations, hotels, and hospitals. Formulate a plan of action on how to respond if a terrorist attack or security incident takes place. Remember the run, hide, fight rule during a terrorist attack or similar incident. Whenever possible, immediately depart the area. If retreat is not an option, conceal yourself from the would-be assailants. As a last resort, and only if necessary, yell and fight off an attacker. If possible, travel with others. Carry a charged cell phone with you at all times if possible. Do not use an unlicensed or gypsy cab. Taxis, Uber, or Uber-like vehicles should have a photo license clearly displayed. Compare the image to the driver and include identifying information for the driver. Record the license plate information in your phone as a precaution. Review evacuation and shelter in place plans after accessing your hotel room. Be sure of the identity of visitors before opening the door of your hotel room. Don't meet strangers at your hotel room or at an unknown or remote location. Refuse unexpected packages. Report suspicious activities to the hotel's front desk or security office. Follow the instructions provided by the police and security services, faculty or staff, or on-site staff at all times during an emergency. <laughs>